Hey, you saved my life. You know that, don't you? I don't mean literally. Okay, maybe I would have died in that Hut's bolt hole, but either way, I wouldn't have come back the same girl. Killing a fat hut wouldn't bring your mother back. It would just fill your nights with haunting images. I guess you've had enough of those to know. Thank you for protecting me from that world. Tiva called. She was fine after she cooled off. She was always like that. Maybe you saved her too. Anyway, just wanted you to know. Master. Verifying identity complete. Please stand by for official communication from the Citadel. My lord, I appreciate your indulgence. I am Moff Jayak. I would like to request your assistance in an urgent operation. Eighty-seven hours ago, the 5th Naval Patrol Group was attacked. All hands were lost. 
1,239 servicemen total. Has the Republic developed some kind of new weapon, a new ship class? No, this attack was not carried out by Republic forces. Our servicemen were slaughtered by their own droids. We found the corpses orbiting in perfect rings around the Duba. Aren't droids programmed to be loyal? How could they rebel like that? We believe they were compelled to do so by a third party. The attack on our ships was not an isolated incident. Droids elsewhere have disappeared or sabotaged our efforts. All of these incidents have been linked to a secret movement calling itself Directive 7, a cadre of rogue droids that plans to exterminate all life in the galaxy. Steel and circuits are no match for the power of the dark side. I hope you're right. Time is against us. The renegades are already beginning to put their genocidal plans into motion. We must act now. I am organizing a strike against Directive 7's headquarters to begin as soon as possible. I would like you to spearhead the operation. I would be honored to destroy this threat to our empire. I am currently headquartered on the Imperial fleet. Come to the coordinates provided and I will brief you more fully on the operation. I hope to see you soon. The connection has been closed. Thank you for your time. the best hardware and the best prices.
I see three flaws, Major. You've split your forces, you're vulnerable in the air, and you take our enemy for idiots. You think that Jedi isn't expecting this? Out! Yes, sir. My lord, thank you for coming. If it weren't for the Sith, the Empire would collapse all around us. Thank you, Orphrigus. I am honored. It's my honor. If there were more Sith, the Empire would be in better shape. Adegan crystals. Imperial scientists can now transform these glitzy bits of rock into the most powerful stealth technology in the galaxy. We want every ship in the Imperial Armada fitted with this tech. An unstoppable stealth armada. I take it you've run into trouble, or you wouldn't have called me. To succeed, we need two things. To control Ilum's crystal supply, and to bring our fleet safely to Ilum for modification. Ilum's no place for a war. Narrow passages, sharp jutting rocks, and the coldest wind you ever felt. But that Republic Admiral wants a war. He sent Jedi Master Jeric Caden to lead the Republic's elite alien armies on the ground. Caden's pinned us in. The only reason Master Caden is still around is because he hasn't met me. I'm counting on that. The Jedi think of Ilum as their planet. Only two of them were here when we arrived, but they have ruins scattered around the place. The ruins housing Master Caden's base are too small for anything but a strike team, and they're surrounded by cliffs full of Duras shock troopers. Then have your soldiers stand aside and let a professional take care of this. Our only chance is to lure the Duras shock troopers into the open where they're vulnerable. I've established fake supply depots between here and the ruins. Master Caden is over-aggressive. He's already mobilized the shock troopers to capture the depots, clean out the duros at the supply depots, and then assault the ruins base. Force is a weapon. I will show you how to wield it.
ready for your next order.
aircraft, we must always be on guard.
Thank you. 
No, Admiral. My guests have simply arrived sooner than expected. Rest assured, this war can only end one way. You know your options, Master Caden. Surrender. Save a life. I oppose the Treaty of Coruscant. Why should I surrender now? The circumstances are looking much brighter. You are on Jedi land, and I'm only going to ask once for you to leave. What do you mean, I'm on Jedi land? Jedi have built their temples here for years. These ruins are sites of pilgrimage and meditation. The crystals your empire to turn into a weapon of mass murder are visible signs of an invisible truth, the Force. A Jedi does not kill until forced. I would sooner kill every Imperial on Illum than allow these crystals to be desecrated. Then you'll die for something you believe in. Along with the Force. I will be even stronger. Rupus, join me for the Republic.
products only as intended. Be well. This is a military matter, Malgus. You appeal to the Dark Council for help. Here I am. Enough bickering. We have a war to fight. Excuse me, my lord. The Dark Council has sent us some unexpected aid. Dark Malgus. I'll just be observing for the time being. Observing, hmm? Before his death, Master Caden ordered an army of Kalish mercenaries to take our only functioning crystal mine. We need the crystals. We need that mine. I want the Republic's Kalish army destroyed. Show the galaxy the price of allying with the Republic. So what exactly do you want me to do? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. The victory on Corellia cost us nearly a tenth of our forces. That's hardly a rate of attrition we can support, is it? Does this have something to do with the mission, Malgus? The Kalish are warlike, ritualistic people. In my brief time on Kali, I observed the ritual by which they chose their war leader, challenge their general, win their respect, and they will defend that mind to the death for the Empire. Aliens! You want us to recruit aliens? Sounds like we could use some allies. I'm in charge of this operation, not Malgus. The mine is at the end of a crystal cave, with several Republic outposts guarding it. Sure, challenge the Kalis General, then bring me his head. Darth Malgus's plan makes more sense. I will not trust the Empire to mercenary freaks. If we don't bolster our forces, there will be no future for the Empire. Go to the mine, gather the weapons of the Kalish warriors, and plant them in the ice to initiate the right challenge.